Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we will discuss solutions to problems in the first paper of the 2014 JE Advanced Physics Question Paper. Uh, we are given that the galvanometer gives a full scale deflection to the current, let's call it IG, of 0.006 ampere. When you connect it to a resistance of 4990 kilo ohm, 4900 ohm, it is a voltmeter in the range 0 to 30 volt. Now we know what happens in a voltmeter, which is the galvanometer and the resistance is connected in series. Why? Because this thing will be attached in parallel to the circuit and a high resistance means a very low current is drawn here, which means that the potential difference across this point is not changed by a very much amount, very big amount. Right. So this has its own resistance, let's call it RG, which is 4990 and the voltmeter has a range of 0 to 30 volt and this is a full scale deflection at 0 0.006 amperes which means at 30 volts the deflection is 0 0.006 ampere, it can't go further than that. That means 30 volt is equal to 0 0.006 amperes multiplied by the resistance which is 4990 plus Rg, wait there in theory, which gives me, this is, you take 3 here, so this is 30,000 divided by 6, which is 5,000, is 4990 plus Rg, which gives you the resistance of the galvanometer at 10 ohm. Now next you are converting it into an ammeter, and when you convert it into an ammeter, you have your galvanometer, and you put a very small resistance in parallel with that and connect it in series with the circuit. The reason for that is if there is a very small resistance, most of the current will go through that and only a tiny fraction will go through the actual ammeter because only a tiny deflection will give us the maximum deflection. So we scaled an ammeter up. So in this case, the current is I. That means the current through this thing so this is Rg. The current through the galvanometer is I times small r by r plus Rg. We know this formula, right? This is for parallel. They are divided in the inverse ratio. Since r is very, very small, most of the current will go here. A tiny fraction will go through this, which is proportional to small r. Right. So this is what we are given, and the range is 0 to 1.5 amperes, which means 1.5 is equal to, sorry, 1.5 into small r by small r plus 10 is equal to 0 0.006 ampere. Right, so 1.5 goes here, which means that 0 0.006 goes here, which is the maximum possible value. So we will need to call that, I will just rub this voltmeter part. Yeah, so the equation is 1.5 or 3 by 2, 3R by 2 times R plus 10 is equal to 0 0.006, which means 3R is equal to 2R plus 20 times 0 0.006. Or we can take this to this side, so this will be 1, 2, 3, 3000 by 6 which will be 500 R is equal to 2 R plus 20 or 498 R is equal to 20. Now we are given that R is equal to 2 N by 249. So we put 498 into 2 N by 249 is equal to 20. So this gives us 2 which means 4 N is 20 which means N is equal to 5. The reason they gave that was just so we could get an integer answer. The actual answer is whatever R is, but we said that is equal to 2 n by 2 14. So n is equal to 5 is the answer to question 16. Thank you.